Hello, 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 everyone. Happy New Year and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another wardrobe updates and strap in because this is going to be a long one. In fact, it's going to be so long that I am dividing it into sections because I did ask on my Instagram whether I should launch uh, the long video or not. And the majority wanted the long video. So here it is. But for those of you who want to like watch it in sections or don't want to watch all of it at once, then you can see how long each part will take and plan and watch accordingly. So usually with the wardrobe updates we tend to jump straight into what's new in my wardrobe but this time I do have a couple of things I just want to talk about first. Also just to round off the past year uh, a little bit because as you have probably noticed I have been pretty absent from the channel. I sort of just dropped off uh, at one point and it, take, it took me a long while to make another video. I did talk about it a little bit but I just wanted to like round it off so that I could start fresh this year. Um, I tend to keep my private life very private. I think most of you know that already. So something really major did happen in my life in spring. So. That's why I've fallen off the channel. I don't think I want to really say much more than that. I feel like I don't uh, feel the need to to share. And I'm also like, okay, <laughs> you know, life happens to, to all of us. But my reason for saying that is that I really miss the channel. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to like get back into the grind and prioritize it because I like being here. So with that said, I want to make another couple of statements about some updates because of course with the channel that has fallen off a little bit, things surrounding the channel has then also fallen off quite a bit. So I made some news to my website. You know on my website you can always go and check everything that's in my wardrobe at every any given point, except you haven't really because I haven't been updating it uh, for the past year, but I am doing some like major changes to it now. I am getting everything on there. So uh, it's gonna be reliable going forward. But then attached to that, I have a Klana store now. You know, basically it's the platform that I use to make affiliate links. And uh, the Klana stores had quite an update the past year. I've also been in contact with them, actually helped them out a little bit with um, developing on the platform and now it's so user friendly. It's so nice. It's so easy to save your links. You can uh, see everything that I am interested in in any, any given point. So from now on, I'll also be linking to my Klana store down below. And the Klana store is connected very closely to my new Instagram because you may be following the old one, but I have made a new one that's more dedicated to outfits and also sharing the really high-end pieces that I find and like, but that I end up not buying. Because, you know, the thing about the way I do my content is that I tend to not add, like, loads of stuff. It's definitely not, like, um, or I mean, some of you may watch the this and think that I do but you should just see me like shopping there are so many things that I like that I ultimately end up not buying for uh, whatever reason so there's always like a lot of other things that I find interesting that you know you don't get to see because I don't purchase them so those are on the new Instagram I'm doing like some outfit inspiration on there so to sort of like be able to use my imagination and share it with you without that stuff only going on in my head and then you only seeing like the end result so go follow my new Instagram if you feel like it and go follow my old Instagram if you want to. That one is a little bit more like just sporadic. I just share whatever I want. And without further ado, let's get into what is new in my wardrobe, which is also going to be parted into two sections. I have new in before I left for Copenhagen for uh, Christmas and New Year's, and then I have what I added in Copenhagen. So first we are going to get into what is new in my wardrobe before Copenhagen. And the first thing I wanted to talk about is my Chanel bag. Actually, it's not my Chanel bag. It is the Chanel bag of a friend. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know this, but I had so many of you point out that like I had a new bag. I just want to say it's not mine. I have, uh, I'm very fortunate to have a friend here in Zurich that has a lot of bags and she literally just offered me to, to borrow this one. So I said, yes, I have been wearing it quite a lot. It's definitely competing for wear with my YSL bag, but I'm not interested in purchasing it as is right now because, you know, she literally just gave it to me and told me like, you can just use it for as long as you want. I have loads of other bags to uh, use. So yeah, I'm just wearing that 
uh, and not counting the wear, which maybe I should have done, but I just, whenever there, when there's not a cost to calculate, I find it so not interesting that I just don't get it done. So moving on, something else that I bought is a navy pea coat. I've actually been looking for something exactly like this for probably two years now. I thought I was gonna get a woolen blazer in navy, but then my taste changed a little bit and I thought getting a pea coat would be really nice. And then in fact, uh, this is another story. So it does have a little bit of polyester in it as well. The rest is wool, but I did try it on in London and really liked it. But then um, at the time I just couldn't, uh, like couldn't budget for it. So I came home and saw it again here in the end other stores in Zurich that recently opened. So we're gonna make a lot of content in there. But because things are so much more expensive here, I couldn't like justify buying it. And then I went in there a couple of weeks later and it was like on 50% sale. Like I got it for 179 francs, which is just like, unreal so i bought that it's also the only jacket i bought with me to copenhagen and i gotta say like probably because it's a little bit thicker there's also a proper lining in it it is significantly warmer than the curated coats like there's just no way around it i don't like saying that because i've been going on and on about the curated coats for so long i really like them i feel like they're warm enough if you layer underneath them and they are but it's not that hard to get something that's a little bit warmer and like i said there is a bit of polyester in this but i also have a couple of blazers from another stores already or do I only have the pink one? I might only have the pink one, but that is also cut with polyester. And there's definitely, there must be some difference in quality in polyester because it really doesn't bother me. It's very breathable anyway. So yeah, I've been really happy with that. I usually just wear a sweater underneath, like one of my new sweaters. Of course, we're also gonna talk about this. Or I bought another down jacket to put under it that we're also gonna get to, but basically it's very warm. I don't have to like go crazy with layering underneath it. I'm so pleased with it. And I think like it also fits so well into my wardrobe. It's such a good piece and I'm also uh, showing a lot of outfits with it on the new Instagram. Then I bought a black wool sweater from Arcade. I'm getting into loose sweaters. The past couple of years I've been adding a lot of form-fitted sweaters, almost exclusively cashmere, and now I'm adding some wool sweaters. They just have a little bit of like a different structure. They're less soft and also less like lumpy and like flimsy. Uh, which is not good words to use for cashmere sweaters, but I think that's the easiest way to actually explain it. So I added a sweater in black. It's actually this exact sweater, just another color. And I have been extremely happy with it. I've basically been wearing it constantly up until I got this one, which then I'm also wearing now. And then keep in mind, of course, I've been in Copenhagen for two weeks. There I was only able to wear, of course, what I brought. So something, for example, I didn't bring is the gray sweater from And Other Stories because I knew I was gonna go and buy this. Then I added knee high boots which i've also been looking for for quite a while and i tried on so many different pairs like both with a bit of a heel with a lot of heel completely flat something that was like looser around the calf something that was more tight fitted to the calf and ended up with a specific model from vagabond i know guys it's so annoying because you know whenever i find something from vagabond it takes almost no time and that thing is like obsolete or so difficult to get your hands on but that's also what's uh, beautiful about the Klana store I made like a little collection where I'm sharing all of the knee-high boots that I find in like good quality. Uh, I think there's also like one or two like more affordable options. Like there's a pair from H&M, even though those are also real leather. So basically whenever I buy something and it's obsolete, which also happens because, you know, I wear my things for so long. And then if you see something that I have that is old, you can't really buy it. But with these collections on Klana, you can go check the things that I find that are similar to what I have or just that I'm interested in and then ch check these out because they are similar enough. But these knee high boots, I am extremely pleased with them. They are super comfortable as well and they go so beautifully with everything in my wardrobe. And I think they're also like a next twist to my by far favorite outfit formula as is, which is, you know, a skirt and a usually tight fitted type of shirt but now I'm also wearing skirts with the loose sweaters and it's just such a good look like it's what I enjoy wearing like the vast majority of the time and then also with the pea coat I think it looks really good but it does bring me to my next thing which is that it, now it's winter so of course wearing tights can be a little bit cold I usually don't suffer that much like my legs are the last part of my body to freeze so I'm usually okay but still I did buy those like skin colored fleece tights from Calcedonia. A lot of you did recommend them and I bought them and I've worn them whenever 
I felt like I needed to and yeah they're pretty cool they basically of course just add an extra layer of warmness but you can't tell that you're wearing something underneath your sheer tights but my hunt for the perfect tights continues uh, if you're following me on Instagram you've been following this pretty tightly because I share whenever something breaks and it's just all the time I've tried uh, quite a few of like the brands that people usually recommend like Woolford and that's basically sort of like journey I'm on now so I recently ordered a a couple of pairs from Swedish stockings so we're gonna see where that goes I'm gonna probably talk about it in the next wardrobe updates when I've tried even more pairs then I bought a gray skirt it actually has a, sh a built-in short underneath as well which is quite handy especially because this skirt is quite short but uh, yeah I've just been looking for actually a gray pleated skirt for a while so I've tried on quite a few pairs and although this does look a little bit different from what I intended it just fits so well like it's such a good fit that I decided to keep it anyway so that I've also added it's from only which is a Danish brand which is probably best compared to fast fashion except for the fact I feel like their things just last a lot longer than you know uh, usually H&M and Sarah and stuff like that but even there it's like a hit and a miss then I also added a see-through black fitted top from Sarah it's a cotton top I worn it like three four times washed it once and it's it has lost its shape already so I'm going to continue wearing it to the degree that I want to and then at some point it's just gonna I'm just gonna face it out. I bought it sort of on a whim because I wanted this specific look for uh, an outfit. But yeah, didn't hold out very well, so now you know. I actually bought it because I wanted something similar from Arcade, which is made from silk. Uh, my friend, actually the one with all the bags, wears these and swears by them and she always looks so good in them. So that's what I wanted to get, but it was sold out in store and I needed it here now. So I bought the next best thing and it's trash, so don't buy it. So that was all of the things that I have been buying until I got to Copenhagen which has been pretty nice like with my black white brown turtleneck my black skirts new boots my pea coat I have been quite pleased with my wardrobe I've had some really good things to wear but it doesn't stop here because the purchases I've made in Copenhagen are so good it's like it's unreal so let's get into it so first of all I bought this brown sweater from Arcade. I am, again, I'm so pleased with it. I have the black one as well. They're just so nice. I've actually had to wash both of them because I spilled something on them and they hold up so well in wash. Of, of course, I cold wash them, but still they just look so good after. The structure is so nice. The pilling is minimal so far and they have just some really nice colors on there. I'm wearing a medium, which for me is a really good size. By the way, if you don't know my stats, like my height and um, sizes, stuff like that, it's always available on my website so you can go have a look if you forget so yeah i only brought the black sweater with me as part of sweaters because i knew i was gonna buy this i'd already checked that it was available in the copenhagen store and i went to go get it in copenhagen because it is significantly cheaper to buy there than it is in zurich then i bought something else i actually did get these from another stories but it's not another stories i bought a pair of new balance sneakers and they are intended for the gym here in zurich i'm probably not gonna wear them that much like out and about because i just don't wear sneakers but i did wear them as part of outfits when i was in copenhagen and they're just so comfortable and in my opinion it's a really cool sneaker but maybe you know don't take my advice because i don't know what i'm talking about but I do think they, they look really cool. But now I'm only wearing them to the gym, but I just wanted to like put that in there because I'm probably gonna wear them every once in a while anyway, if I really need to. Then I bought the skirt of my dreams. Actually bought two skirts of my dreams, but I'm gonna just talk about this one first. It is a classic denim colored skirt and it's a wrap skirt. And I was only introduced to this type of look actually like this summer or was it last summer doesn't matter but i've been on the lookout you know this already for the perfect denim skirt for so long and when i was in london i bought one in arcade and i mean it is a good fit but even though it was a good fit and i bought it it still wasn't perfect but it's really one of those things where like i keep buying denim skirts every time i find something that's slightly better than the last because i just love the denim skirt look so 
much but now i finally found something that's like literally this is perfect like i don't you will never hear me say i think <laughs> that a denim skirt is better than this one obviously i'm gonna be sharing pictures as i'm talking about it so you can see but in my opinion it's just such a good look it's so much different than like the a-line look it can sometimes look on me especially in denim it's like you know it's so rigid it can get a little bit like out of shape and can twist and turn a little bit Basically, this has like a slight more, a slightly more, you know, obviously it's less fitted. It has a slightly more skater skirt type look to it while still being A-line. Basically, it's just such a good fit. And unfortunately for most of you, the skirt is from the Danish brand called Noa, which is not that easy to find abroad usually. And I'm sure it's probably not that easy to order it either. Of course, when I see things like that starting to like pop on, on just mainstream stores, I will be saving those in my Klana store. So you can always go like have a look. And of course, like I'll be sharing on my Instagram, stuff like that when that happens. But I actually bought it on sale. I bought it in this like Danish, department store called Magazine. The Danes will know exactly what I'm talking about. They have like so many nice Danish brands and I have this thing where like I tend to have this idea of something that I want that I think is really cool and then I'll be looking for it online. I'll have a difficult time like finding the perfect version of it if anything at all and then I'll go to like Magazine in uh, in Copenhagen and I'll find exactly what I'm looking for. It's 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 kind of wild. I think Probably just the Scandies are sometimes a little bit ahead, ahead of a lot of other countries with stuff like that. It's probably the reason. But yeah, I bought this skirt. I've been wearing it a ton and I'm in love with it. But then I bought almost an identical skirt from another brand, which I think sort of just confirms what I've just talked about because this is also from a Danish brand. It's from a Danish brand called Envy. And if you've been a long time subscriber, you have seen me declutter a lot of Envy things throughout the times because I used to shop there a lot when I was significantly younger and a lot of those things I've hold on to for so long because I've been wearing them but also usually they're very great quality but for quite a long time like for years literally whenever I would walk into Envy I would find nothing uh, it basically just I think I got older and they stayed with like the, the age that I was or that was like their their main consumer but now it seems like they're changing things up a little bit or maybe I'm changing a little bit as well especially since my trip to to London but I bought this denim set where the skirt is part of it so let's talk about the skirt first this is basically the same concept as the other skirt and then it has a pocket which you know I don't need it but I find it completely inoffensive and then it is this beautiful dark denim cover uh, color that I've gotten so into I think it's so beautiful and actually I have had this like image in my mind of a skirt exactly like this a black turtleneck and then knee-high boots and now I have that outfit and I'm actually embarrassed to say this but I think it's important to share my failures as well uh, as part of this journey I never shared this with you but I actually bought a skirt very similar to to this from and other stories because I loved the look so much. I was completely in love with it immediately, but it's a low cut skirt and they only had like a size that was too small for me and I bought it anyway brought it home with me to Zurich. I wore it once and I was basically showing everyone my butt that day, but at least, you know, I was going to the lake. So in that sense, it wasn't like that big of a deal is what I told myself. But yeah, obviously I've never gotten around to wear it because the fit is that terrible. But now I have exactly that look like that I had in my mind and it's just so amazing. So of course I am also going to be sharing the exact link so you can go have a look yourself no matter where in the world you're living. It's also already up on my website where I will be sharing the exact links to things if I can, even when it's not affiliate, which of course this isn't. But there is a matching denim top to go with it, which yeah, I'm just gonna show some pictures and then you can see it for yourself. It's not directly uncomfortable, but of course it's not like super comfortable either because it is really tight. I was uh, suggested by the sales staff that I bought it in like a very small size because it was gonna like give in uh, quite a lot and like that has definitely happened, which is fine because now it's like a, a better fit. But yeah, this set is so adorable. Obviously I can wear the pieces apart as well and I definitely will. And I also did wear this set actually for New Year's Eve with my knee high boots. And then uh, I'll show the picture. I'm wearing this like necklace that I got a lot of questions about on, and, uh, on Instagram. It is from another stories. It's already linked on my Klana shop. I'm also gonna link it down below, but it's not mine uh, actually. It's uh, my friend. So I just borrowed, the for, borrowed it for the evening. I did consider buying it myself. And now that I saw how much you guys also like this uh, necklace, then 
definitely maybe I should. Then I also bought something else in Envy. Actually, maybe I should just like tell you the, the what happened because I hadn't brought anything to wear for New Year's Eve, which I mean, worst case, I always have like my black skirt and like a black top, but I did want to wear something just a little bit more special, but I was so certain that I was gonna find something in Copenhagen because I always do. Like I always have the problem that like I find too many things. But this time I literally hadn't found like a single thing that I really liked and I was sort of like borderline panicking a little bit so I went out to go shopping on New Year's Day or New Year's Eve Day anyway I went shopping on the 31st and I found the set the, den the denim set and then I also found this like pinstripe set this like dress that is just like oh my god it's so beautiful and it fits like a glove like it's literally such a good fit on my body like it makes me look amazing and then i did buy a matching blazer to go with it this blazer i would have never bought just on its own i'll be completely honest but i really love sets so i didn't want to leave only with the dress so i did buy it as part of a set so i bought all of this attended for new year's eve but also knowing that i didn't want to return any of it because it's such a good look all of it and then also the the dress like the new dress the pinstripe one like with a white shirt underneath i actually haven't tried it yet maybe i'll try it and then like show you the picture but there's so many ways to wear this uh set and especially the I don't know if there's so many ways, but there's a couple of ways and they're all beautiful. And then I did actually have a, a buy another, like a last outfit, a third outfit that I could have worn for New Year's Eve, but I did take the, the shirt back or the top back. It was also a denim top with like rhinestones on top. And then it had like a little bit of like a skirt thing going on. I'm going to share a picture of it from a, the website, but it looked so cute, but it didn't fit me that well. So at the end of the day, I was like, nah, I just take it back. You're not gonna, you have these other things. Just, you know, don't, don't keep it. So I did take it back. But as part of that outfit, I did buy a pair of pants. I usually go really far in between finding like trousers or dress pants that I like. And whenever I like a pair, to be clear, like I should have made this connection earlier, but it's usually in Denmark. And it's probably because like I have the body type that's, you know, they make clothes for my body type. They're, you know, taller and then, you know, the sizing is just better. And also, yeah, just the type of fit I like is probably more in line with like what the average Scandinavian person likes. So whenever I, I try a pair of pants from Denmark, they're usually, or there's a better chance that they're a good fit. So I bought a pair of pants in this like very nice charcoal, like dark gray, sort of like shiny-ish color and fabric. So yeah. Just bought those, so I'm gonna, of course, also share the link below. Then I bought a skirt on sale, also from a Danish store called Mus, and I'm just showing it off so you can see it, but I don't think this will last very long within my wardrobe, unfortunately. Luckily for me, it was very inexpensive. I paid like $25 for it. I think it was even a little bit less because it was on sale. And it's really beautiful, but after wearing it just for like one day, it's one of those things that like, it keeps like crawling up and I didn't get to experience that in store because it does take a couple of minute for, minutes for it to happen, but it's just not a good look. It's not a good feeling to have to like pull down your skirt all the time because otherwise you're gonna be showing up your booty. So just for full transparency, which I mean, now you know that sometimes I do end up doing something and then keep it a secret anyway, or keep it a secret, but just not sharing it. But I bought this and it's very cute, but um, yeah, it's probably not gonna work out. And then I bought one more thing, which I'm actually very happy with and I'm really happy to be sharing. I hope it's gonna maybe help some of you guys as well, because as you know already, I have a Uniqlo compact jacket. I tend to layer with it underneath my other uh, or underneath my coats to obviously be a little bit more warm uh, add an extra layer but the one i have is the thinnest one and i've been very happy with it it's hold up really well i've had it since like 2018 but it's not that warm actually they make one which is still part of this like lightweight collection that you can wear under uh, underneath other jackets but this one is significantly thicker still even though it's you know it's light still it also has like a little bit of a collar to it and, and it's a zipper instead of buttons and I have been extremely happy with it. Like, oh my God, I actually, I wear just that on top of my workout gear to the gym in like uh, three degrees Celsius here in Zurich and it's 
warm enough which is kind of wild of course Zurich is not windy so if you're living in like the UK in or in uh, Scandinavia please keep that in mind because I don't think it's particularly windproof but when it comes to like heat or cold wise I'm so happy that I bought this of course I'm also going to be linking to that below I did buy it in black just because it is going to be more versatile but I would have also liked it in brown so maybe gonna add that someday I did end up getting it just in a medium even though it large might have been a little bit better in terms of like the length and also like the length on the sleeves but outside of that the medium was the best fit for me and since it is something that i'm gonna primarily wear underneath uh, other outfits i did go with the medium which is by no means too small uh, too small i could have just gone with the the large as well so just letting you guys know definitely run like run to get that then i just wanted to uh touch on my wishes really quickly i also have you know the the wish list available on my website which is also something i'm working on keeping updated because it's also something i tend to leave alone for quite a while but yeah i'm also gonna get on top of that and then at the end of the day if it if i can't do that then i'm gonna have to take the page down because i don't want something on there that's just not really getting updated it's a little bit pointless but in terms of wishes i have a couple of things I think when it comes to like basic pieces, I'm so good at just adding these as like they show up, like for example, with this like sweater, with the skirts that we've just talked about. So I'm not really gonna wish, wish for stuff like that. Although I am still gonna, I still have like a black turtleneck, like black, black fitted turtleneck. I keep finding okay versions. I'm still gonna look for like the perfect version because it really is something I wear like multiple times a week. It's so frustrating. But outside of that, like bigger wishes, I have started to think of adding another designer handbag and I've been trying some out in store. I've been thinking about either getting like the Jackie bag from Gucci. There are two versions that I really like or getting a uh, Fendi baguette bag, which is also, you know, a classic. But this is just what I'm looking at right now. I definitely want to get something that's like more leaning towards like a brown. But actually, did I say Jackie bag? That's not what I meant. I meant the horse bit bag although the jacket bag is also extremely cute but i already have the hobo bag and it's essentially the same look so i really can't i can't prioritize that right now and then something else i really want to get it's actually something that i've already had and then lost some of you guys might remember this I used to have this like pearl drop necklace and it was like $200 and I was a little bit unsure when I first got it and then it just ended up becoming my, I was gonna say my favorite piece of jewelry but <laughs> no, but I did really really love it and I lost it dancing at a nightclub for my best friend's birthday like a year and a half ago and I've been missing it ever since so um, I'm just gonna have to budget for it so I can get it back it's interesting how you know of course it's just materials but some materials just ends up becoming more like yeah you appreciate them more and if i appreciate it that much then maybe i should just go ahead and budget for it then i'm just going to talk a little bit about what i've decluttered and what i want to declutter just like my thoughts and feelings about that i am going to create a bigger declutter video as well but I haven't gotten into it because it's gonna take so long there's so much stuff that i'm getting rid of please don't judge me too harshly <laughs> Um, but I did actually declutter or I sold my brown classic the curated coat and it's quite simply because I'm just looking for another brown. This brown is definitely totally fine for my cool toned wardrobe. I would say it's rather neutral but I've just come to found that like it's the type of brown that I like is more of like a grayish or it's more of like a dark brown which is very cool and then has like slight green undertones to it rather than red and the brown coat from the curated it's very much in the middle between both blue and yellow but also so red and green and I, I want something that's more um, more green and more blue it was quite nice because I sold that for 400 francs but then 50 went in fees to this like really uh, the website that we use here in Switzerland which is very expensive uh, a very expensive fee but I used that money to buy the pea coat and obviously there's some more cash to spend there at some point I'm gonna put that towards a brown coat and like a color that's very nice is the one the crop jacket that I already have from Zara like I could definitely see myself getting a coat in that color or just getting something again more grayish 
that would fit like even better like something that's more akin to this color and then uh, or, or then darker then there are other pieces that i want to get rid of just for different uh, various reasons like something like the pink skirt that i bought like a couple of seasons ago like why did i why did i buy that i just don't need it something like that and then also my navy pinstripe blazer which is actually kind of interesting because i've worn that a lot i've been really happy with it but i feel like i've just had like my journey with it i'm not no longer super into it and the same is true for my oat colored wool jacket from swiss brand collective one more these two things i've had a lot of joy out of especially the navy pinstripe blazer i've worn that a lot when we do the declutter video i'm gonna get into how many times i've worn the things but basically what it's about is that these things are just not clean looking enough i like something that looks rather clean at least to like the extent that it matters in my mind or like what i consider a clean look and these are just a little bit more like a little bit more like cozy or casual like it's like the the way the seams are made the way it's like a little bit fussy in places i think that's the best way i can explain it and it's just really not my favorite trait to add to my own look so i am starting to face out the things that have this slightly you know fussy or cozy look to them which are again like in the way that i'm thinking of it in my mind because obviously a sweater is also going to be fussy but that's not what i mean and then for example i'm also going to get get rid i'm going to sell the navy curated coat the classy one uh, classic one i haven't put it up for sale yet so if you're interested in it just dm me on instagram we'll figure something out but yeah i'm gonna sell that just because at the end of the day even though i've worn it a lot it's of course it doesn't have a single sign of wear but at the end of the day like the coat that i really like of these sorts it is the it is the original charcoal boyfriend one i like the boyfriend shape a lot more the classic shape is just not large enough for me and then also i just added like another navy coat so i just feel like I don't really need it. I thought it was something that was gonna be like a forever thing in my wardrobe, but um, at the end of the day, it's just the classic cut is not the best look for me, in my opinion. So that's the thing with these like really good quality pieces, you know, you can't tell that I've worn it. Someone else is gonna get a lot of joy out of this and I will get most of my money back or a lot of it. So that my final cost per wear for this item is gonna end up being quite low. So actually I believe that that was it for now. We got through it. I hope that you enjoyed this slightly longer video. If you did, please give it a like so that I know and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!